PB gang, man. Y'all wanna know how I wash my hair in 2024? Man, look, my hair is short. I got a cut about two weeks ago. If y'all didn't know, which y'all should know, do not wash your hair right after a fresh cut. Wait a little bit. Hey, you gotta wait a little bit. Your hair gonna get a little dirty, but it's okay, man. It's for the better. Do not wash your hair right away. Okay, this is my short hair washing style method in 2024. So keep it locked. If you're great, great, great they gon' hate. hate. Yeah. Gang. If you great, they gon' hate. Ha! Yeah! What's good, PB gang? It's your boy Poppy Blasted coming at y'all with another banger, man. Hey, look. I know y'all been waiting for this video for a while. I know y'all been waiting for this video for a while, so I have to give it to y'all. Y'all already know what it is, man. But look, PB gang, first before I start the video, make sure you smash the like button right now. Smash it. We ain't get enough likes, man. Smash it, man. It is free. Do it now. I did it. Good looking, man. I appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Give me a hug. <laughs> Look, check it out. Smash the like button. Subscribe. Also, hit the bell. Make sure the bell is highlighted. If you already think the bell is highlighted, just check for a second to make sure it's highlighted. That way you will get notified when I drop a video, all right? We got to get notified, man. I ain't doing this stuff for nothing, bro. You got to get notified. And you better watch it. Yeah, okay. Like you watch it now. Good looking. But look, check it out. Also, go to PeterGoMerch.com. People to go merch.com, get your merch, get your hair care because it's all there. Everything I'm using in the video will be on the website. So if you want the results like you about to see, then you gotta get the, the merch. You gotta get the, the products, man. You know what I'm saying? That's where you get it from. People to go merch.com. Anyways, enough of this ranting. Check it out. You guys know I got a cut two weeks ago. You know what I'm saying? I never get I never wash my hair right after a cut. That's just me. That's just what I do. Everything I teach is what I do. You guys can try this if it works for you. If it don't work for you, then try something else. You know what I'm saying? But that's why I do these videos for these tutorials. And nine chances out of 10, it's gonna work for you though. Cause I don't do this for nothing. I know, bro. I'm, I'm very experienced waver. I'm not just talking my shit. I'm not just one or two or three years waving and I wanna start videos. Even though that's good. You know, if you're three years in the game, that's good. You, you, learn, you learned enough to start teaching. But I've been doing this for 10 plus years. So I know what I'm talking about. I'm not new to this. Go to my old videos, you will see. So that's why I wanted to do this video for you guys, to show you guys my method, my 2024 wash and style method on fresh, like after a fresh cut. So like pretty much when your hair is short. So this is my short hair wash and style method, man. So first, this is what I do. You get a mirror. You want your mirror, of course you want your mirror. You want your comb, cause you gotta comb your hair out before you, you know, wash your hair. Comb, and then you also want this product right here. Boom, wash your style ooze. Oh, Y'all know about this one. Y'all ain't see this one, huh? <laughs> this fire, man. Um, I'm about to use that. So that's all I'm pretty much using. The do rag. You know I me and my do rag right here. These will be on. These also will be available real soon. These right here, they'll be available real soon. All different colors. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it, man. That yeah, oh yeah, the brush, of course. You know, my heart, I ain't, actually I'm not even using my hard brush, I'm gonna use my medium brush because my hair is short. So my people to go merch, flawless medium brush right here. I'm using this one too as well. So those are products that I'm using. Pretty much first thing first, you know what? We're not finna talk. I'm about to voice record, right? I'm gonna do a voiceover right now. Let's go. Okay guys, so first you want to comb to lift the hairs and prepare yourself for a great wash. It's very important to comb right before you wash your hair. You want to comb, pre-wash, and last, final wash. So pretty much when you're done combing out your hair, lifting up your hairs, right? Off your head to get a thorough wash. You gotta hop in the shower, man. Hop in the shower right now. And then you wanna pre-wash your hair. You gotta pre-wash your hair. What I mean by that 
is your first pre-wash, you gotta pretty much just rinse, rinse, like wash your hair once, which is the pre-wash, and then you gotta wash it again. So you gotta wash it twice. So first you wash the pre-wash, which is not gonna get everything out. You know what I mean? Some of you guys probably just put the soap in your hair one time, you know what I'm saying? Uh, wash it, whatever, and then think y'all done, but it's not, you, you didn't, you didn't really wash all of that out your hair. You feel me? You gotta do two. You know what I'm saying? Two times. So the pre-wash is the first time. The additional wash um, to finish off is the second wash. You feel me? So we about to hop in there right now. Let's go. Okay, guys. So now when you hop in the shower, you want to rinse your hair out first before you apply the shampoo. Rinse first. Very important. Because you want to make sure that your hair is wet so you can get a good lather when you pre-wash. Now it's time to apply the washing style ooze. Ooh, look at that cream. Ooh, fire. Anyways, apply not too much. Remember, guys, this is your first wash. It's the pre-wash, so you're not gonna get that much lather when that pre-wash hit because uh, your hair is still dirty. So you know, once the second wash, you will see explosive lather. make sure you rinse out all the soap okay so when you apply the second time as you can see the second wash it's going to be a great lather you know what i'm saying and you're going to make sure that you get everything all the dirt out and everything so that way when it's time to wash and style next your hair will be very squeaky clean notice guys how i'm using my fingers i'm actually using my nails to go on with the grain of my hair pattern i'm not using a brush because there's no mirror in, in the showers that's why i prefer to use my nails instead but if you choose to you can also use a comb all right gang so you want to comb again <laughs> yes, again, after you get out the shower. I'm telling you, man, Coleman plays a big role, a huge role on getting perfect through 60 waves. Time to pull out that spray bottle, man. When you're doing a washing style, you want to make sure that your hair is always damped. The more damp your hair is, the better the lather. Also, with my product, the Washer Style Ooze, you can get great activation lather. You can activate the lather again just by using a spray mister to wet your hair again. Okay, now it's time to apply the Washer Style Ooze. When applying the Washer Style Ooze, you don't have to really use a lot of the product. It, it pretty much a little bit goes a long way, I should say that. So yeah, just apply it in your hair. But first apply it from your crown down. It's JSDG with another banger.
All right, guys. So from going crazy after going crazy, you're gonna see a lot of lather in your brush. This is the method I do. You know, I grab the lather out the brush. You know, we're not wasting that lather. We call it saving the lather. So we save our lather, right? After we take it out the brush and save the lather, grab it. You see all that lather? A lot of lather, right? Yeah. You wanna grab the top and put the lather into the top so that way we can save it for later on. Okay, now it's time to use the mister. As you can see, I use the spray bottle, the mister, I call it. You see, I'm spraying it all over my hair again, pretty much to, to get my hair wet again, to activate the lather. That's what happens when you use the ooze, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it dries up a little bit. All you gotta do is add water to it, which is what I did. I didn't have to get no more. I just, you know, a little bit goes a long way. All you do is spray the, the uh, mist on your hair, to activate the lather. It's JSDG with another banger. All right, so it's time to grab the lather again. Yes, man, it's so much lather though, you gotta keep grabbing it, you know what I mean? But you'll see at the end what I'll do with it. 
We saving the lather, man. We, we saving the lather. We're going to do the same thing we did the first time. You get your cap. You add the lather to that cap. Okay? That's extra lather right there, right? Watch what happens. All right, sorry guys, man. My look, my my mic had died, man. So I'm gonna do a voiceover over this. That's that's stupid as hell, but whatever. It is what it is. Look, check it out. So now that y'all saw, I use the ooze, right? The wash style ooze. Okay, so you remember I was I was saving the lather, right? So now it's time to grab the lather. This is before you rag up, and this this right here is important to do. This the this is very important part of the washing style. You want to grab the lather, right? Use most of it apply it to your hair all right with the granular wave pattern this this important this is the important part right here because it's the molding process you're molding your hair and molding is very important during the washing style because when you're molding your hair you pretty much about to do, throw your do-rag on and if you if you're not molding your hair the correct way your crown is out of place, your 360 wave is out of place, your 540 wave is out of place, then your progress is not going to, your washing style is going to come out pointless. It's going to come out trash. So when you're molding, you got to make sure that it's really laid down and molded in place before you rag up. Right, guys so we put our do-rag on so we're officially done with the washing style all right no wait 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 wait. we got one more step we gotta rinse this shit out so we about to rinse this out right now man um pretty much what i'm explaining right here is is how i put my do-rag on you saw how i put it on it's very important to put it on that way so that way when you're pulling your 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 um your cape down you're not pulling your waves back you see what i'm saying so the way I did it is perfect for saving your progress and molding right and putting the do-rag on the correct way after the washing style, all right? So next step, pretty much all you want to do is grab the rest of the lather that you had in that cap, right? Now apply it on top of your do-rag, man, the stocking cap, just like this. Yeah, see, with the grain. And do that for about an hour. And then after that, get in the shower. Make sure you rinse with cold water. Make sure you rinse with cold water. It's very important to rinse with cold water because what cold water does is seal in the, the moisture. You want to seal in the moisture. When you washed with the hot water, you was opening your pores. Now it's time to lock in the moisture, the pores. Lock, close the pores pretty much. And you're doing that by rinsing out with cold water.
Remember guys, I'm not showing you guys me in the shower again. I already showed you in the shower the first time, and that was the important part. The second part, I don't have to show you guys that. I could just tell you guys that. Rinse it out. That's it. Rinse it out. Wait for about two hours, two to three hours. It might take longer for your hair to fully dry, but don't, do not, I mean, do not unrag until your hair is fully dry. That's very important as well. If your hair is wet and you unrag, it's not gonna, you're not gonna get the full results of the washing style. So you make sure your hair is fully dry. Go outside, let the wind hit it, let the atmosphere hit it, uh, the sun, you know, sit in front of a, a, a air conditioner, you know, blow dry it, whatever you wanna do to make the process fast, fast. But yeah, you wanna make sure that your hair is fully dry before you unrag. But let me, like I said, I told you already, man, my, my camera, my uh, mic, I end up dying, so I'm doing a voiceover the whole time. Sorry, but uh, I kind of make me hot because I I never really do this. But anyways, um, so the next the next uh, clip pretty much is gonna be me unragging and showing the results after two hours. Two hours later, man. Two hours later, um, I'm about to unrag right now and show you guys the results. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, you can get all your products from people to go merch.com. Everything that was used in the video will be in the description box below. Um, purchase from people to go merch.com, man. Uh, washing style ooze, the brush, the medium brush that I used, all that. Yeah, you know it's fire. Watch this.